Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love, who you might be dealing with and what's happening next. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Taurus watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Taurus. Message, guidance, please, for Taurus regarding love, relationships. What does Taurus need to know? Let's see, current energies between you and this person. Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay, and then who you might be dealing with or have been dealing with. Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Where's all this headed? Queen of Swords. Judgment, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. So Taurus, I don't know what the heck is going on, but I can tell you that it has not been great when it comes to love. I'm speaking to a Taurus that someone I feel took advantage of them or some thing happened that led to a difficult ending someone could have been deceptive seven of swords a lot of swords happening here so let's get some insight into the energies here can we get some insight please to the energies for taurus what's going on between taurus and this other person now, this other person still has, like, interest in you, new beginnings, and hidden feelings. So, this person could be wanting a new beginning with you and just hasn't told you. Maybe they are um, thinking of a new start, clean slate, bottom of the deck. I do have uh, deep regret. So, yeah. However, I don't know... Um, I don't know what how you feel about this basically um they're going to be talking to you about something knight of swords is here queen of swords is here so i get the sense that there's going to be an important communication that could be happening here between you and this person Ooh. Put this here. um and i i feel like it's going to depend on that uh, the Wheel of Fortune with Judgment. This is a major turnaround. This is something that, you know, moves things along. A, a series of events unfolding, momentum. So I, I sense that there's a shift that could be happening here in the near future, but I just don't understand what really happened here. I mean, it wasn't good. I, I know that much. All right, four can we get some clarity please tell me about this seven of swords now the four of swords is like healing from this or being checked out not communicating not taking action so let's see um tell me about the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here okay ten of wands why is the four of swords here Why is the Four of Swords? Four of Wands, another four. <laughs> Excuse me. Why is the Four of Swords here? Five of Swords, yeah, something definitely happened. Six of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles. It's like someone's trying to fix this. they're thinking about this they're burdened or the other person is just it's caused a lot of weight um whatever's been happening here it's like a build-up tell me about the ten of ten of swords why is the ten of swords here 
Ten of Swords, feelings of betrayal. Yeah, there's a Knight of Cups. I feel like someone wants to apologize. There's a Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Very clear energy. But Taurus, I don't feel you here. Unless you're the one. Yeah, there's Queen of Cups. Unless you're the one that wants to fix things. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm speaking to a Taurus where there has been difficulty in a partnership that already exists. I feel like that's why the lovers is here at the bottom of the deck. Um, the six of cups is here. I feel like the past is, 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 you know, unless this is a person that's coming in after you have ended something in your life, that is a possibility that a knight of cups appears after an ending. But um, I don't know. I feel like that's not all of you. What the heck happened? Something happened here that wasn't fair to you. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. When I see those two energies together, I think of someone that deliberately hurt another person or deceived another person, which, you know, that hurts. And I really do feel like the overall energy that I'm getting is that you're, whoever this is that you're dealing with wants to talk. There could even be two people here. Let's keep going. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. And three of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that um, they really want to talk about working things out, working together. Three of pentacles. Um, now, the devil is here, Capricorn energy, but this could also be, you know, maybe, I, I mean, I, I hesitate to say that this is a, a toxic person because it's the knight of swords. The knight of swords is very, I mean, their delivery isn't great, but they are very honest and blunt to the point so it's not more it's not that the knight of swords is a card about someone who is purposefully mean it's just that the way they deliver the truth could be a bit combative i think that yeah knight of swords i think that whoever this is it's it's talking to come together in some way three of cups three of pentacles Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Effort, energy, the chariot, cancer energy. Moving forward on the path to success. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone that wants to work on things put in effort to get to this ten of pentacles and there's the seven of swords with the world at the bottom of the deck so i think this is the person that deceived you or 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 did something that they should have done i don't think that this is a new person it's almost like they're trying to to get to this point the world you know, the chariot, the eight of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Um, and it's like, it's like they're giving you the world. So maybe this is somebody that didn't deliver what you deserved in the past. But now that everything has kind of blown up between you, they're going to give you everything you've asked for, everything that may be making promises here. And the six of cups is almost like... Um, there were, you know, yes, things were bad at the end, but it wasn't all bad. We have good memories to look back on. Some of you, you have children with this person. They're bringing that up as well. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Capricorn is here as well. Queen of Swords is Air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Gemini does show up in the lovers here. The sign is not as important as the energy. I feel like this is someone coming in to discuss what's happened and apologize for it, make amends. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? 
Why is the Six of Cups here? This person might even admit what the problem is or was or, you know, it's like what you said about me, Taurus, you're right. Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups. So again, a new beginning, but it's tied to a past that already exists. Um, let's get a little bit more insight into this person. Can we get some more insight spirit into this person? Taurus is how you will be dealing with. Tell me more about this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. Get some insight, please, on this person. Oh, okay. Transformation, metamorphosis, renewal, fearless, motivated, and bold, and creative, artistic, and clever. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to tell you that they've changed. This is part of like, and, and they're being very thoughtful in how they come forward. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. It could even be like an emotional apology or an emotional like expression of love, whatever this Ace of Cups represents with the Six of Cups, this Knight of Cups. Um, Let's look down here at this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Two of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Taurus, you might even be showing up as the Queen of Swords. Ace of Wands. A conversation that decides the future. That's really what this is. Talking about the path forward. The hangman and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, the ten of pentacles. Someone's really thinking about what's being said. So if you're the one that's, that this person's coming towards to make an offer to, you're really thinking about the future. Ace of cups, ace of wands, ace of pentacles. A beginning. There is someone that's going to come forward and make you an offer. And then it'll be up to you what you want to do with that offer. Um, I feel like a lot of you would be like stuck thinking about this. It's not, an, it's not a decision that you would make quickly. I think this person is making a lot of promises. They, it could even be a marriage proposal. Tell me about judgment. But be very careful because the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords showed up again. When I clarified, so did the devil. So I'm, get, I'm getting this energy of like a lingering conflict. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Wow, the tower. Tell me about judgment. Strength, Leo energy, justice, Libra energy. Okay, Taurus. What is going on? Whatever, whatever happened in the past, it's not over. There's still a tower looming. Leo energy with strength. I don't know if I said that. Um... I feel like this person's going to surprise you in the near future, but I don't know if it's a good surprise. If they're asking for a second chance, you know, maybe you're surprised that they're asking for a second chance or you're surprised that they're trying to make things right here with you. Maybe in your mind it was already over, but this isn't over for at least this other person, I could tell you. Judgment in the tower. Wow. Well, the tower is all about something that's coming down. A foundation that's rocky, needed to come down. This is sudden events, revelations, destruction, 
etc etc of the tower but judgment is a card about you're almost at the end of your cycle after judgment is the world so there's you've, you've learned everything you need to learn about the cycle that just happened the, the journey that you just went through judgment is about learning from the past having some sort of awakening realization about what you've been through and then ready for a rebirth in a, in a sense a resurrection and that is the lesson that you take into the world where you can start a new cycle so the fact that the tower is here it's like taking two steps back in a way or it's like you thought something was over and the cycle was complete but it's not Some of you, this is a legal situation that you thought would be over and resolved and something unexpected happens there. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Cups. Okay, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Six of Swords. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Seven of Pentacles. I want one more. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Clarify with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um, the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Virgo energy. Well, I can tell you the fact that Judgment, Tower, the Tower, and the Wheel of Fortune are here. Something will never be the same. A situation will never be looked at in the same way events are unfolding here that change a lot um i feel like someone is having some sort of a departure um they're leaving i think all of this behind or considering that considering leaving all of this behind because there's no there's no reassurance with the seven of pentacles nine of cups Will I have emotional fulfillment and satisfaction at the end of this? I don't know. This could also be your person wondering if you're going to take their offer here in the way that they hope you take it, you know? Now, they're being very uh, strong, stubborn, at, at, I feel also from this energy here that with the strength card. The Hermit and the Five of Cups. I think that... For a lot of you Taurus watching, I think that you're going to really consider whatever this bomb is with the tower and judgment, whatever this surprise or major change that's happening, you're going to be thinking about it a lot. It's not going to be an easy decision and it involves another person. I feel like this person is hoping that this changes your mind. Almost like they're hoping that this tower rocks you so much that you decide to, to, to consider them. That's kind of what I'm picking up here, but I'm not sure why. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating because I feel like this is a very specific reading, but I also feel like it has been an ongoing reading for Taurus in some way in all of like the last couple months. The Wheel of Fortune is very important. I feel like it's going to give someone something that they want. But I also feel like the Six of Swords is tied to that as well. So, um, you know, it'll, it'll depend. Let's get a Stellar Guidance. Tell me um, more spirit about this near future energy for Taurus. Oops. Tell me about this near future energy. For Taurus. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this near future energy? Abundance, number 38. And in a few months. Oh yeah, so I feel like all you need to know is divine timing is at play at the bottom of the deck. All you need to know is that everything will work out, Taurus. Everything will resolve the you know it's like abundance is yours no matter what surprises are in store no matter what situation you're dealing with um 
things are happening as they're meant to, which is another common theme in a lot of readings for Taurus. I just think that there's going to be a situation that happens with this tower that changes everything. And I'm going to look at that closer in the extended, the tower, the wheel of fortune. What do we need to know about these energies? And then I'll also look at your person's true intentions towards you, whoever this is, what's their end game? What do you need to know about them?